நமஸ்கார் நமஸ்காரம் வணக்கம் டு ஆல் த பி குருஸ் ஆடியன்ஸ் அஸ் ஐ ஆல்வேஸ் சே இட்ஸ் அ ஜாய் டு டாக் டு த பி குருஸ் ஆடியன்ஸ் பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் வெரி எருடாய்ட் அண்ட் தே ஆர் வெரி இன் இன்சிசிவ் இன் தேர் கமெண்ட்ஸ் விச் இஸ் வெரி ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் நவ் த எகைன் த சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் ரீசெண்ட்லி ஹஸ் கம் அவுட் வித் அ ஜட்மெண்ட் அபவுட் த ஜிஎஸ்டி ஐ ஆல்வேஸ் மெயின்டைன் சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் ஜட்ஜஸ் ரிக்குவயர் significant amount of lessons in finance and economics because they you know they just have a broad brush and look at things only from a what uh, one technical law point of view but uh, law is not the end of the world there are many other things which require to be considered this gst is a extraordinary uh, initiative in india many people realize this european union could not achieve it but uh, we have done this one of the eu professors told me what we could not achieve because india is similar to eu in terms of its size in terms of its uh, you know what one can call uh, regional dis- you know variations and languages so many things but he said you have achieved it we used to have some 2021 type of uh, regulatory framework and uh, you know the taxation system of different states we combined all of them we consolidated it and created this uh, gst and uh, cst and which is shared between the center and states not many people know this is ashim das gupta who was the finance minister with uh, jyoti basu he was one of the primary members to initiate this whole thing jyoti basu was very enthusiastic about it the cpim which is in alliance with other parties today were all shouting horse again gst should first know its own history so he started it he created it he formulated it he specified various parameters and other thing ashim das gupta is a very well known economist of course marxist persuasion uh, with uh, you know he has a credential with mit and so many places that doesn't uh, uh minimize the importance of the system he created because he and jodi babu felt that india requires a commonality in terms of its taxation otherwise it leading to chaos actually now there is a gst council that's a statutory body and gst council takes a decision and so far no state has gone against the decision even though they have expressed reservations in the council this is the position actually and the decisions are recommendatory even uh, yesterday actually the finance secretary has clearly made it the decisions are not uh, compulsory but the supreme court has retreated the same thing i don't think what uh, the benefit supreme court get in the decision this is pertaining to gujarat uh, uh, you know system in terms of freight uh, bit in the sea freight uh, uh, debate between the state and the center not only that supreme court also mentioned that the states can formulate their own uh, policies what do they mean you mean they want to come back to the original uh, chaotic system every state having their own you mean center will say 18% tax state will say 22% tax and i don't understand at all i think it is a must for supreme court judges to undergo courses in economics and finance economics 101 102 long time before they might have had i do not know how many of these law colleges in those days had some of these courses otherwise civil servants are undergoing continuous education actually they are sent to various iims and various other business schools in india and abroad in order to have continuous education we must evolve a system where in the similar type of continuous education is uh, imparted to judges at different levels of the uh, judiciary it's very very critical they understand the nuances of the whole issue it's not just uh, legal or uh, law based only it has got societal implication it has got uh, uh, international ramification it has got uh, domestic uh, alignments so many things are involved in that so this is uh, extremely uh, painful that uh, they retreated what is already known 
but in a much more uh, uh, open way this is this could open a pandora's box in the given political atmosphere and situation where many states are at loggerhead with the center and very many you know nitwits and illiterates who do not understand anything about taxation or anything about gst or anything about our fiscal system go on talking that gst is dangerous and some uh, nincomp who want single rate i do not understand at all how can you have a single rate you mean people who buy uh, uh, mercedes benz car should pay the same gst as people who buy a matchbox or what percentage wise this whole thing is uh, uh, you know uh, absurd actually what is happening i feel in our country is increasingly people who do not double distilled triple filtered double distilled triple filtered morons are trying to decide about policy of the uh, fiscal policy economic policy of the and then on that basis they make uh, you know assumption they give their own uh, and unfortunately some of the uh, judiciary is also going along with this this is an extremely sad uh, state of affairs sooner judiciary have judicial restraint this is one of the most important thing which uh, one should understand judicial restraint is extremely required and uh, judicial overreach is uh, inappropriate in the in these type of matters i think uh, the gst as it exists today has done very good things in terms of unification if at all we can try to bring in uh, uh, this petrol and diesel also under gst more important is if there are some deficiencies if you recall finance minister has constituted a committee of the chief uh, finance ministers of various state in which uh, tamil nadu finance minister is also a member to make suggestions for uh, improving gst for changing the uh, issues uh, pertaining to gst and other thing so it's not something which is uh, uh, unheard of or anything all the finance ministers in the country are there and the commission uh, committee can give the report and then have a discussion and improve there is always a scope for improvement in any type of taxation and system but let us not throw the baby with the balti or baby with the bath water let's not try to bring back the chaos of the earlier period in which every state began to act as if it's a separate kingdom this is very very important we shouldn't go back to chaos in order to rectify some minor uh, or uh, issues pertaining to gst second is i think high time court should know there is an element of what is called self restraint it's not required for them to have knowledge in all the areas it's not required for them to jump into every type of petition from you know marital rape on one side to sabarimala entry of women on the other side to gst to releasing uh, uh, convicted murderers of uh, what one can call this uh, rajiv gandhi as well as to talk about uh, what should be the height of dagi and di that's one of their major uh, achievements of this uh, decade actually they finally came up with a figure of 20 feet i do not know whether they are even uh, you know uh, monitoring it or doing it uh, i think it's must for judiciary to exercise restraint and uh, try to clear up the backlog of the cases this is most important people are waiting for you know 20 30 years in order to uh, get a certain amount of justice court and court from the courts so they must exercise self restraint there is uh, nothing uh, more nothing less, uh, less than this the collegium system has already provided them enough powers in terms of being swayambhu they create themselves they are you know uh, they are not uh, under any of the um, authorities or anything is a very important otherwise the impeachment is the only method but uh, that doesn't uh, one vera swami was so justice was supposed to be impeach finally karunanidhi told that he belongs to the backward caste i don't understand how backward caste and corruption can be uh, interlinked but that is a type of a, what one can call uh, you know Uh, uh, linkages uh, which can be developed by political leaders he was not impeached and there was another case of the bengal uh, judge and uh, who 
resigned so he was all so that's a very cumbersome process and i would not like that to be attempted again and again because the type of people sitting in parliament are not any better than uh, what uh, one can uh, uh, assume is uh, regarding the judiciary i would rather strongly urge them to consider uh, judicial restraint extremely important and particularly in areas of economics finance and uh, trade and uh, various other life is not only exclusively looking at the legal uh, what one can call uh, uh, technicalities it's much larger this is what i would like to say and uh, whatever they have told on gst is not something new let's be very very clear about it i only hope some uh, over enthusiastic uh, state do not try to create uh, confusion and chaos by formulating their own uh, policies on gst which will not be tenable but in a very highly polarized political uh, situation which is getting heated up more and more day by day you, know, you cannot uh, be very sure of uh, what type of activity so let the supreme court not uh, pour ghee into the fire if at all let it pour some water into the fire thank you very much Thank you.